What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Miss Cassandra again. This is a Krishan update. Let's get it. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, your favorite paralegal, a.k.a. Cassandra Lynn. And today we are going to go over Miss Krishan Rock's a.k.a. Krishan Malone's civil case update. Um, this is pretty much an update from the last video that I did on her regarding her civil case matters. So let's hop on into it. What up, YouTube? So Boy, the look. first one we are going to start with is with the James Wright case. I honestly don't remember where I lost le left off at, but... I do remember that there was a hearing on the 28th of June and it said case management conference hearing and, you know, everybody was in shambles talking about, you know, she missed the court date. What's she going to do? Cause she's in jail. And I s explained the whole civil litigation process. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you go back and watch that video. So I am going to pretty much give you guys the details of what happened in that particular conference. Mind you, the case management conferences is just um, a meeting between the attorneys and the judge to give them, give the judge rather a status on what's going on with the case to set any dang um, deadlines. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's not something where the plaintiff nor the defendant have to uh, be present or appear. It's just a civil matter. So at this case management conference, this was set because of the failure to file proof of service. So on this case, I believe, and you know what, let me just pull this up. <laughs> Let's see. Switch screens right quick because I am showing you guys one screen and I'm trying to pull up my... Is, let me see. Let me make sure. Okay. Nope. 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 Shopping. So at the uh, on this is okay. So this one is the James Wright and Krishan Malone. So on uh, this is the minutes from that meeting. So as you can see here, it says the matter is not called for a hearing. Like I said, it is just the meeting. They need to make sure. So what are they making sure? If I of? go back to it, I don't want to switch out screens, but the the hearing slash meeting was because they were questioning the service of uh, the summons and the complaint to Krishan Rock. So they had the meeting and it is clarified that the proof of service was filed on 5-13-2024. Krishan, I believe was served in the James Wright civil case on either May 3rd or May 5th. Okay. Okay. Now, she everybody is questioning, well, they can't serve her at at the football. They can serve you wherever you are. Okay? If you are there and they in a a private investigator confirms that you are there on a regular basis or there every weekend. You promoting where she was at. And I kept telling y'all she need to stop promoting where she's at out there looking out for that football team and the football team played in the end. Crazy. Can be served there. You can be served at your house. You can be served at a hotel. You can be served at an Airbnb. You can be served at your job, wherever they can find you at. You can be served there. So that was the issue here. So they did confirm that she was served and that she, um, and that a proof of service showing that she was served has been filed and was filed on May 13, 2024. So that goes to um, the next hearing that they have set. If you hear, if you see here, it says order to show cause. Failure to file entry of default is set for September 10th, 2024. What that means is I, you know, I do got to go back to that screen. <laughs> 
<laughs> so let me swap screens again. And as I'm talking, I'm going to explain. So because Krishan was served on May 3rd or 4th, she has so many days to respond to that. So although she was served on the football field, she did, she got service because they filed the proof of service and they confirmed that she was served. She has to respond. If you don't respond in a certain amount of days, you can't put in a request or a notice or a motion to enter a default judgment. I don't see that they have done that just yet. I don't know if they're in California, if there is a, um, a set amount of time or a time limit or deadline that you have to file that entry of default judgment. I need to search that up. Um, but I am assuming between uh, this date on 6-28-2024 to September 10th, they need to go ahead and make sure that they f file a notice or a motion to enter a default judgment since she did not respond. Now, does she have time to respond? Yes, she does. She really does. She can respond uh, so many days before the actual hearing. Now, will the other party potentially um, fight that or oppose that? Yes, they will, because they're standing on the grounds that you did not file your answer in a timely manner. So this is... I'm confused, and that's why I'm sitting here not saying much, because I thought it was a hearing that she wouldn't have to go to... Uh, yeah, Krishan <laughs> just needs to make sure that she gets her stuff together. Um, it's it's wild in these streets. And as you can see with my uh, earlier video on Blueface, like these judgments is not going to like it's not going to do you any justice, especially if you are making income and your judgment is higher <laughs> than what you are bringing in it's not going to work so she needs to get her stuff together all right so now i'm going to move on to the next civil matter and i am putting this in right here uh c b i like doing stuff in real time so y'all can see that none of this is altered Okay. Okay. I'll that. This case is, I believe, the hairstylist. What? Uh, Miss Irby LaShayla or LaShayla Irby. I don't know which part is her real name or first name. Uh, so let's see. They actually have a case management conference hearing Damn. set for July 31st, 2024 at 9 a.m. The last thing that I can see. Well, I'm not, I don't care about, you know, any of the other defendants except for, uh, Krishan. So I am just going to show you guys what I have seen and I cannot stress enough the importance of if you are ever, ever involved in a lawsuit that you make sure that you respond because having to fight a default judgment it's not going to go well. And you have so, and a lot of people don't realize anytime a judgment is entered, you have so many days to appeal that. After that time frame, you, you can, there's nothing that you can do about it. Dang. All right. So here is the, um, the proof of summons. So Krishan, so this case was filed. I'm trying to figure out when it was filed doesn't show but that's okay i believe her case was in 2023 if i'm not mistaken when irby filed this uh but here is just it's a proof of summons so this is sh the process server or the constable sheriff whoever served krishan is strictly saying hey i served krishan on this date and these are the documents that i served her so here, as you can see on number three, it does say Kashana Rock. Um, it shows the location where they served her at. And it shows that she was served on February 14th, 2024 at 3.31 p.m. Now, your girl has not 
responded to this lawsuit. And because she did not respond, they went ahead and submitted a default judgment, well, an entry or request for entry on a default judgment against Krishan. And here you go here. So, so yes, there money? are several defendants that are on this complaint. But, you know, let's say there's four of them, right? Two of them respond in enough time. But two of them did not. You can uh, request for an entry of default judgment on the two that did not respond. That's how that works. So the case is going to go in like different directions. But the end result is settlement. So we know that. Okay. So this is where it was. Okay. So the complaint was filed on October 23rd, 2023. We know that Krishan was served on February 14th, 2024. The time has passed, and now they are requesting for um, a default judgment to be entered. And they did this on, let's see, default entered as requested. So she can't respond in jail. Oh, she didn't respond before jail anyway. So they just going to put their judgment in, and she basically going to have to pay that settlement. On March 25th, 2000 and. What is that, 24? And hell, Kershawn ain't going to be able to help Blueface. What I was thinking was, I still feel like he's going to try his best to get in her pocket, which is not hard for some reason. Um, I, I I wish something would come to her mind and say, I got to pay my own shit. You know what I'm saying? But what these people asking for is, is doable. What he owes, $15 million, y'all. Nah. <laughs> Nigga, they own you <laughs> for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what? So Crazy. right now, uh, I'm not sure what they are waiting on in order to... F well, I do. I, I lied. Because <laughs> it just showed it on the... Uh, let me just replace that. Oh, it own. did show it on the... Court docket. So here was the last entry. She was served. What was that? Well, they filed the uh, entry for default judgment on March 25th. The next hearing is set for 731. So we are going to see because if they go ahead and grant that, then they can go ahead and proceed with the default judgment. And, you know, we look at, well, no, because Blueface really didn't do a default judgment. Or did he? No, I don't think he did. But either way, it doesn't matter. A default judgment is a default judgment. Uh, <laughs> a judgment is a judgment, rather. Uh, so, yeah, she failed to to respond. Uh, Krishan really needs a legal team to handle these matters. Uh, usually she needs somebody. Aside from blue face. I honestly think she in there right now. Clearly thinking about Junior because aside from what some of y'all say, I think she love him. He her child. Um, but I think that blue face is right in the thoughts, right beside, right beside Junior. Um, that's it. I just... Her family history, like Taseki keep getting evicted. You have money. What are you doing? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't. Usually if you are a celebrity or you have a business, you are supposed to have a registered agent or at least someone that can handle, you know, in the event you get sued somebody you can deliver the legal paperwork to so that way they can go ahead and take care of it. This is what happens when you don't have that. And it is sad. Clearly. So with the hairstylist case, she is moving towards a default judgment because Krishan failed to answer. Then we have the next case, uh, which was Rama. And 
on the 25th, they actually had a case management conference. And that's another one where people was like, oh, my God, Krishana is not going to be there. She's going to go to jail. This is a civil case. She's not going to go to jail. OK, <laughs> if she doesn't respond, then the plaintiff can get, you know, they can move towards a default judgment. So at this conference, uh, let's see. So this thing. I just found out, too, like when you owe somebody, clearly a civil, unless they also take your ass down for criminal as well, which is what James Wright, Chanel did for Krishan. Not Shawty, Irby. She wanted the money, not to send Krishan to jail. So. Yeah, that's the difference. Statement was submitted by Miss Rama. I don't know how to pronounce James her last. James wanted both. Same amount. We're gonna try. The complaint was filed February twenty six. Now this one says service B. The following parties named in the complaint or cross complaint oh. has not been served or have not been served. So Krishan has not been served. Zeus Network hasn't been served. So this, oh, she's suing them too. This is what the the case management conference was about. So the the judge wanted a status to see what is going on. According to the minutes of that particular conference, let's see. And look at this, y'all. This I hope everybody sees this, so everybody can say, "Oh, okay, defendants, no appearances." For plaintiffs, Richard Pergro by, okay. And so that's the attorneys. The defendants know the plaintiff has to be present. They don't have to be present. All right, but this is just another case. Now, for this particular case, Krishan has not been served. So what they this did, for let's criminal. see, says all matters were called for hearing. The court confers with counsel regarding the status of the case. Counsel for plaintiff represents the matter is out of service. Pursuant to the request of plaintiff, the case management conf uh, conference scheduled for June 25th and the <sighs> order to show cause sanctions scheduled for 625 are continued to 924 at 8.30 a.m. So they continued this until September 24th. So this is giving them time to serve Krishan and Zeus Network. That's all it is because at the end of the day, Service is important. Now, whether they answer or not, that's not something that you can control. But what you can control is getting the other party served because by law, they have to have they have the right to know that they are being sued and you have to allow them an opportunity to respond to the lawsuit. There's there's no other way around that. Okay. Now, in the event that having a process server or a constable or a sheriff go serve them. If that does not work out, then they can do what's called the substitute of service. And that's either by a citation by publication where they can post it in a newspaper or they can say, okay, I'm going to leave a copy on the door or um, I can send a certified mail or regular mail, whatever the case may be. But at this point, they have to do their due diligence to serve both Krishan and Zeus Network. So they have until uh, September to ensure that they get that done. And that's simple. That That's, that's it. That's so that nice. is just a rundown <clears throat> of Krishan's civil cases only. Okay? So she has two cases where they are looking to enter a default judgment. And they have one case where they are still looking to serve her. Nothing Dang. more, nothing <laughs> less. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. I had a couple of questions. In the beginning, I was kind of like lost. That's why I was really quiet. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, but now I understand uh, the girl is suing her too. And she's suing Zeus. Um, what I'm not understanding now is what she's gotten, what she hasn't been served for now. Cause I thought she got served by this hairdresser girl, but maybe she put in that lawsuit. She clearly she hasn't been served yet. Or she did say she was served February, like 14th or something. Right. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm I'm a little confused on this one. Um, and clearly it's Saturday, girl. Ain't nobody about to go live and talk about this. So I will probably give y'all another update because I'm a little bit in confusion. And if y'all could help me in the chat, y'all know I'm new, not true. I don't mind you telling me, you know what I'm saying, where I clearly have misunderstood or where I'm wrong at. So let me know and tell me y'all's thoughts on this. Um, I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.